So a little bit of a different video for me today. Um, I wanted to look at why I am having trouble with the PAS or the pedal assist sensor on my CYC motor build. Um, I think I figured out why I was having problems because it was working kind of intermittently. You'd spin the pedals and it would it would work for a bit and then it would stop and there didn't seem to be any real consistency. Um, and I think part of the reason is the way the, the PAS sensor goes onto the bike. So this is the PAS sensor here. Um, it has these splines here and it locks into the splines here on the axle unit. Um, so it slides over the edge and locks in place. And then when the axle turns, it turns um, a magnetic ring inside of this device. And when the magnetic ring turns and passes by this, this sensor here, which we'll have a look at in a minute, um, it sends a signal and tells the controller that you're pedaling. And then it puts the, the designated amount of power from the motor into, into the bike to make it move. Um, the thing is, the way it assembles is you are supposed to have this glued, this little slip piece glued inside. I think you see where that, that ring turns, right? Um, so that's supposed to go inside. Um, and they were originally glued in, although the glue has come off since. So you have to slide this whole unit over the end there into place. And I think what was happening with mine is that the one that I did get on... I think this came out of position and it was maybe half across. It's very difficult though because you're doing it kind of, it's kind of blind. You can't really see and it has to be very tight, otherwise it's not going to function. Um, so I thought, you know what, um, I've got some downtime and I'm reconfiguring the bike anyway. So I'm going to take this apart and see if I can figure out a way to make this, to make this work. So I've taken it apart and it was just literally three screws nothing complicated and you can see how how real simple this thing is um, it's the casing here that goes onto the bike um, this is the uh, the ring with the uh, the 30 presumably the 36 pole magnet um, it must be encased inside this maybe little magnets encased inside um, and that sits inside there and then this this cover goes on the back um, and this is the slip that's meant to be glued in on the inside. Um, so I can probably just do a better job of gluing that in. Um, but it, it struck me, or it strikes me, as with one little change could have made this a lot easier. And I think the way I'm going to do it is by having it assembled from the other way. Like if the screws had gone in from this side, like here, rather than on that side, I think a lot of this would have been manageable and I don't think that CYC would have had quite so many problems because I'm not the only person to have issues with this with this PAS unit at all um, but if you had it so the screws go in from the other side you could effectively then assemble this on onto the axle and that's I think what I'm going to do so I'm basically going to have the bike as I build it I'm going to pop this part on and then I'm going to take this part and I'm going to get this part on and I'm going to make sure that this part is properly, I mean, I can't really do it now, but I'm going to make sure that part is properly in and glued. And I'm probably going to use something like maybe super glue or whatever, just to make sure it's definitely bonded onto this. And then I'm going to be able to visually verify that turning the axle turns that magnet part there. And then once that's in, I'm just going to glue this in the back and be done with it. Um, Cause I know it's going to be working then I can test it out with the power running and make sure PAS is working. Um, I might try and, you know, maybe reprint it, um, and mess about, but it's quite a complicated part. And I, I honestly can't be bothered making a 3d copy of that and transferring the sensor. So maybe I'll plug the holes, find a way to screw it in, or I'll just, or I'll just glue it. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be my solution to, to get the PAS going. Um, so if anyone else is having problems with PAS on this, um, I would recommend that this, might be a good way of getting past it so you can definitely get it working um if you have got paz working with this um well done you've definitely got steadier hands than i or maybe you had more glue on your part um anyway uh, i'll leave it there um don't forget i'm doing my uh competition at 500 subscribers for uh this lucky bling ring 
and that 1,000 subscribers for the uh, for the Agrider V2. Um, so yeah, next video will uh, will hopefully be carrying on a bit more with the install over here um, and some more work uh, on the the 3D printed part. All right, cheers.